the 23rd of April is the feast of St. George, martyr, and the patron saint of England. St. George is in fact patron saint of many European countries. By tradition, he was a soldier. He was put to death during the persecution of Diocletian in the fourth century for refusing to renounce his Christian faith. St. George has often been depicted, of course, in legend as slaying the dragon, and the dragon in medieval times was seen as a symbol of the evil one. Clearly, St. George is an important patron for us today. He's been so since the reign of King Edward III, who made him the patron saint of our country. But at this time, we have a particular need of going to St. George and asking for his intercession, because, of course, the saints are not just models for us in holiness, not just our friends in heaven, but above all, their intercessors uh, for us with God. So we turn to St. George in these difficult days and ask his intercession and his healing power. Another great saint that we turn to in times of difficulty is Saint Michael the Archangel because Saint Michael is also the person who in sacred scripture slays the evil one. It was in 1884 that Pope Leo XIII introduced the prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel after low mass because he had some kind of revelation that showed him the importance of seeking the intercession of this great archangel for the safety of the church. Pope Francis last year reminded us of the importance of saying this prayer to St. Michael once again, and that's why here in our own parish, we pray the prayer to St. Michael the archangel now each day at the end of weekday mass. So as we prepare to celebrate this feast of St. George on the 23rd, let's invoke his intercession. Let's ask him to protect our country, to slay the evil one. And let's also ask the intercession of St. Michael for all our needs, that he defend us in the day of battle, that he be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the evil one. God bless you.